Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, on the 21st day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Tell this to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Shealti, and to the high priest, Joshua, son of Jehozak, and to the rem remnant of the people. Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? And how do you see it now? Does it not seem like nothing in your eyes? But now take courage, Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and take courage, Joshua, high priest, son of Jehozak, and take courage, all you people of the land, says the Lord, and work. For I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. This is the pact that I made with you when you came out of Egypt, and my spirit continues in your midst. Do not fear. For thus says the Lord of hosts, One moment yet, a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations, and the treasures of all the nations will come in. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Mine is the silver, and mine the gold, says the Lord of hosts. Greater will be the future glory of this house than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give you peace, says the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Today's response, hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Do me justice, O God, and fight my fight against a faithless people. From the deceitful and impious man, rescue me. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. For you, O God, are my strength. Why do you keep me so far away? Why must I go about in mourning with the enemy oppressing me? Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Then will I go to the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, but who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, the Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. It seems ironic that Jesus would tell the disciples, would urge secrecy, concealment, that he is the Messiah. Because Peter gets the correct answer, you are the Christ of God. Peter, this would be an example though of Peter and the other disciples too being really good at talking And people who are giving reviews, whether it's movie reviews or product reviews or Amazon reviews, are really good at talking. They don't lose their voice like I seem to have lost my voice. They're good at talking. But we're also called to be good at listening. And what Pete, the reason Jesus urges silence or secrecy is because he knows that the disciples don't understand all of the implications that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. They don't understand all of this. In fact, someone pointed out to me recently, I think I knew this, but I needed a reminder, that if you read through the Gospels, you'll see that Jesus predicts his suffering multiple times, and each time he predicts it, he adds another layer of detail or another thing he didn't tell them the first time. And uh, so it's a reminder to us that he does want us to understand his suffering, his death, and his resurrection, that we are called also to share in his cross each day, and that this gives us the ability ultimately to to announce this to the world uh, by our own power, um, by our own words. Let us pray for the church on earth. May we increase in faith and number, we pray. For world leaders, we pray. For all essential workers, we pray. For the eternal rest of Marie Vaccaro, we pray. For Anya Kosignol, for healing of Anya Kosignol, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers and those we keep in our hearts through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Lords, with Blessed Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
the kingdom of God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer you this sign. God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul.
let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew with this sacrament that we may come to possess your redemption, both in the mystery and the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for your patience. We do not have, for those who are watching this video, please know that the reason the image appears this way is because we do not have electrical lighting right now in church. We are able to run the air conditioning, we're able to run our sound system, we're able to run many things, but the lighting is not working right now. We hope to have the lighting and brightness and illumination later today, and we hope to have it over the weekend. If you are coming to Mass over the weekend, there's no guarantee that we will have lighting. So please ex exercise extra care. Sorry for the inconvenience. It shouldn't happen, of course. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience in putting together the video and continuing to try to video, make the video recording, despite the, the challenges. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks.